All right, I've been flying this Big Whoop version two for about a week whenever the weather has been good. And I have to say, I really like flying this thing. Now I had a version one before that was on 1205.5, 11,500 KV motors. And it flew kind of okay, but uh, if you're interested in this build, uh, let's get to the parts and uh, build info on it then. So let's start with the star of the build, I would say, and that would be these FPV cycle 1303 11,250 kV motors, and they run great on 1S with these Rotor X 25 35 props that I had laying around and uh, I don't even know if they make these anymore but uh, these are the ones with the interlocking uh, system where it becomes from two to four blade but uh, it worked out great in this build for some reason and uh, with on 1S I get like especially on these GNB 450 1S LiPos with a BT 2.0 uh, that I've uh, soldered in, uh, which again, I switched the uh, pH 2.0 to BT 2.1, and I get about two and a half to three minutes flight on these, and this is at least a year and a half, two years old. So on a 650 ma uh, 1S lithium uh, high volt uh, battery or LiPo, I get about four minutes, four and a half minutes, and um, I think that's more than enough for this type of uh, extreme acro freestyle flying that I do. And uh, let's continue on to how I sold this on to the Happy Model Diamond F4 flight controller. Actually, let's talk about that first. So I had tried the Mobileite. 7 before and it, ha it has that flight control and I actually like it so I decided to buy it and put it on this. The uh, range in that one is actually not too bad uh, but for some reason this one the range is subpar. I'm not quite sure exactly if there's a a quality control issue or discrepancy or some reason. Might try rebinding, rebinding and see what happens but um, it's great because it has you know 25 milliwatt to 200 milliwatt uh, built-in VTX on it. Uh, really light flight controller and uh, the pads on them are quite big actually so let's get back to, back to soldering these FPV cycle motors on the these the motor wire length is just long enough that uh, no extension was necessary but it did require that I had to mount the board on here and solder it the wires onto the pads while in the frame and you, like right here is a good example. I need a real pretty fine tip iron to get the, uh, to solder it on. But uh, to be honest, it's, it's really not that difficult. So uh, no extensions necessary. It's just, like I said, just long enough to, to, to solder onto there. The motor screws, instead of using the metal ones, I opted for plastic ones that I bought off Amazon. So I bought a bag, bag of them right here. Uh, I forgot how long they are, five millimeters. I just chopped off any excess because uh, I didn't really want the wires to touch the coils and it's plastic. So it really doesn't matter if it does, it won't do anything. Then let's go on to the canopy and the camera. The camera I ended up using a Cadex FEV Ant Light, and they fit perfectly in the B Brain or Newbie Drone B Brain canopy. Um, but it does require that you either glue it on here securely, or what I did was rubber band it, and that keeps it in place. Now, for some, the camera angle might not be enough, so there's two ways of going about that. It, first way is to Take a heat gun and heat the canopy and then bend it to the angle you want. Or the way I ended up doing, which was to use a 
longer grommets, rubber grommet on there, and then kind of use that as a way to get more tilt on and with a longer screw. So this is this is what the original angle would be, and that's with the grommet pushing up on the canopy. So that gets that gives me that more slightly more aggressive camera angle on there. Camera, the FPV camera on the the, uh, the ant, ant light, love it. Um, it does have this weird purple hue when the sun hits on the lens at a certain angle, and maybe it's just the design of it, but I can live with that. The the dynamic range, the field of view, the image quality is spectacular for this uh, the size and weight of this camera. And I think aside from that. You know, I had to tape the motor wires down to the frame because certain crashes, there's just enough slack that it will, could get, or it has actually got caught the uh, props on those wires. So I've decided to screw, tape them down. Um, future upgrades or add-ons that I may consider is going crossfire on this. I mean, plenty of room in between there for a crossfire nano receiver um, and probably maybe switching soldering out this monopole VTX wire with an actual uh, dipole or circular polarized antenna like a singularity just for a better better quality reception but aside from that I mean everything else is straightforward this was an afterthought really i mean i could probably 3d print a proper uh, battery holder but fun fact this is an actual plastic sheet from a muffin container that i just cut the shape and screwed down down onto there but let it be shown that it fits these batteries or lipos no problem and it's quite secure and I've had no problems with it ejecting. It's just tight enough that it won't, that I can push it out. And yeah, I think that's that's about it. That's all I can really think about for this build. It's indestructible. I've, you, know, you, you've probably seen the uh, flight footage. I've crashed a few times. There's one where I smoked the side of a playground set and nothing. Like it's so light. I mean, Let's check out how light it is. It's that way. Almost 44 grams. So if you're an avid wood flyer like I am, I think it's pretty worth the time to build this. Very easy to build to be honest. But uh even at that weight, sure, you can probably be, build a baby tooth with it. But like I said, if you like whoops like as much, as much as I do, then build this. The old 1205 or 2.5 11,500 kV motors, I moved on to a, into an 85X and I have yet to test this. I've tested it with a GAM fan. Uh, I forgot what props these are, 2035s. Four bladed, very quiet, but uh, felt very underpowered at the, on the top end. So I've decided to try chopping off and turning that four blades to bi blades. And I haven't tested it yet, but I'll let you know how this ends up going. So hopefully you find that informative. If there's any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And uh, I hope you find everything uh, in this video very instructional. Thanks. Okay, a couple quick things to add about the Big Whoop version two build. The motor wires, you'll have to actually ride in between these spokes or else it won't reach the motor pads on the flight controller. Uh, it's, it's definitely not long enough if you go around, around the sides here, it has to be in between. Um, the camera, the ant comes with the wires to plug onto back here, but you will need to use 
the plug that comes with the flight controller. I don't know what it's called, uh, but it looks like that. It's a pH 1.0 or maybe pH 1.25, not sure. But you will need to solder that end to the one that's the the plug that's provided with the uh, the wire that's provided with the uh, ant. And lastly, these FPV cycle 1303 motors. The shaft is uh, unconventionally 2.0 millimeters in diameter. So you cannot use the typical like micro props to, for it to fit on here. And I had to use a two millimeter uh, drill bit and rebore the props on these rotor X. So essentially this build is not completely indestructible. The weakest link is probably the props itself because you know, I had to drill out the, the hole in there. But if anyone out there knows of a better alternative to try try on this especially one a by uh by blade propped with a two millimeter uh mounting hole or shaft or, or, or whatever you call this for the prop let me know